your yoni will be so fresh, so clean, so pure, like you will have a whole new yoni. What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a video that I've never done on my channel. It's kind of like out of my normal realm, but I feel called to do this and also more knowledgeable in doing this because I have gone through my own personal experience. But today we are gonna be talking about your yoni, your moon cycle, infertility, fertility, heavy periods, painful periods, steaming your yoni, what is a yoni, why should I steam, why shouldn't I steam, feminine products that you have been using, feminine products that you should be using, abnormal periods, we're gonna be talking about all of that. So if you're uncomfortable with this topic, then you should exit this video now. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. First thing first, I'm gonna be referring to my private part, your private part as Yoni. That's what I like to call it. And if you're wondering what Yoni means, in the Hebrew origin, that means gift of God. The literal meaning is sacred place. That's enough of a reason to call it your Yoni. Yoni symbolizes a sacred portal of life. In Chinese Taoist tradition, it is referred to as the Golden Lotus or the Gates of Paradise. Now you may ask, what does this have to do with some of the things I'm gonna talk about? Now, at some point, the pads or tampons that you use probably contained bleach, chlorine, pesticides, um, plastics that are used or made with uh, to make automobiles or even heavy industrial industrialized items. Products that we use every single month times X amount of years and how those can potentially affect us. The odds of hysterectomy were 3.2 times higher amongst black women compared to white women. In the Cardia study, year 15 examinations showed that when participants were aged between 33 and 45, the prevalence of hysterectomy among cardio women as a whole was 12% among black women and four among white women. Also, black women are three to four times more likely to die from pregnancy-related causes than white women. It's partly why all the overall rate of pregnancy related deaths has climbed over the past two decades, making the maternal morality rate in the United States the worst in any industrialized country. I'm gonna touch on the brand always because that is the feminine product brand that I used to use. So here is a little screenshot of some of the ingredients that always once used in their pads. The first one is a carcinogen, then we have a reproductive toxin, then another carcinogen, another carcinogen, another reproductive toxin, as well as an irritant. So as you can see, they've definitely made some changes. They even have a brand that is advertised as 0% chlorine, bleach, um, dyes and fragrances. But if you go ahead and search all of their products, you can quickly see that goes away. And if you click one of the products and go to the smart ingredients, you can see that these ingredients are definitely suspect. Let's go ahead and see what this first ingredient is. Polypropylene. Ingredient number one, but if you go ahead and type this word into Google, it has a relatively slippery surface which can make it possible to substitute for plastics and low friction applicators like gears or for use at a contact point for furniture. So you're using something that's possibly also used for furniture in your yoni. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and just see what number two is talking about. Maybe it gets a little bit better, as in healthier, better. Um, polyethylene. Polyethylene is the most popular plastic in the world. It is used for grocery bags, shampoo bottles, and kids toys. And even bulletproof vests. That sounds exactly like something that should not go in your yoni. The percentage that they're probably using in these products is very low, but if you times that times a four day cycle times four different times of changing or two different times, three different times of changing times 20 years, 40 years, 10 years, five years. What y'all think? Long story short, for years and years and years, you possibly have been putting the same type of ingredients that are used in automobiles, toys, grocery bags, and shampoo bottles on or in your yoni, and that's just a no. So on the bright side, there are brands that cater to a more natural approach when you are getting around that time of the month, such as Honey Pot. I've used Honey Pot and I love them. Just to give you a little background on Honey Pot, Honey Pot is a plant-based feminine care 
line. They do not use chlorine, pesticides, or fragrances. And for the most part, you could pronounce all of their ingredients. Miss Beatrice Dixon created this product line. I was suffering from BV for eight months when an ancestor came to me in a dream and gifted me with a vision to heal myself. With her help, I created the Honey Pot to solve for what other brands wouldn't through the power of herbs. Being a daughter of Oshun, I have a feeling who that ancestor was. So as far as what I have used from Honey Pot is I've used these pads here and I've used both of their feminine washes. They have three different types of pads, but I have two here. I have tried these ones and I love them. The one thing is they have mint in it, so it gives you like a little cooling sensation. For me, it feels like it's like cleaning, but there's other people that have other opinions and y'all are just gonna have to try that out for yourself. The ingredients on both the super as well as the overnight are the exact same. I think the only difference is the thickness or the absorbency. Products I have not used yet from Honey Pot. These are 100% organic tampons. This is a duo pack and this is just the regular tampons. 100% cotton, water repellent wax, which is a string, cotton sewed thread, and then bioplastic applicator. These are sustainable, soft, breathable, pesticide free, and chlorine free. Yeah, so I personally have never used these, but I know there are some people who like are only using tampons, so I just wanted to include these in the video. I have not tried it. I can't necessarily give you my own personal testimony, but they do have tampon op options. Honey Pot also has feminine wipes. The normal wipes are infused with lavender, aloe, and lemon peel, while the sensitive are infused with chamomile, aloe, and lemon peel. Both of these are plant-based. They are free of parabens. Now, as far as the feminine washes go, so this one right here, the blue one is, I don't even wanna waste it, but like, it's, it's gone. Um, I've used this one. I used the sensitive one and it was fine. I loved it. It was super light. I would say it definitely smells like um, apple cider vinegar but there's no like heavy fragrance or anything like that. It has ingredients like lavender and vinegar. It's 100% natural. The pH of this is 3.5 to 4.5. It's cruelty free, sulfate free, and gynecologists love it. And then I got this one recently just to try it out and I love this one. This one does smell a little bit more like apple cider vinegar, but you have to actually smell it. It doesn't like rage with apple cider vinegar, but apple cider vinegar is good for your yoni, so. Okay, then here you have a refreshing spray. I don't really know what this would be used for. On the bottle it says you would gently remove the cap and gently mist panties, underarms, feet, and shoes and air dry. So I'm guessing this is like a little smell good touch up. A soothing lavender cream and this is what you would put around the outside of your yoni area. This has mint, coconut oil, and lavender. This is made for people who are irritated, whether that be from wearing tight panties or even a bathing suit or just any friction in that area. So this is a soothing cream. So really natural and light, something that is just gonna soothe that area for you. Where you can find Honey Pot. Honey Pot can be found at Target and there's also a black owned company called Black and Green. I actually purchased some of my Honey Pot items from Black and Green and they basically have a toxic free website uh, geared towards toxic free living. But go ahead and check out Black and Green. So yeah, that is Honey Pot. And I will say through my personal experience, in my transition from using Always to Honey Pot, as well as implementing herbs and yoni steaming, what I will get into next, is my cycle has gone down like from a long seven days to like three to four. And I will also say is I did have the IUD and after I got that, menstrual cycles were all bad, but I personally would never get the IUD ever again. I had a terrible experience and my hormones were all over the place. But if you are a woman who's suffering for infertility or uh, yoni dryness or um, heavy painful periods, it can root from what you're using every single month around that time where you are trying to conceive um, and you're trying to get into your ovulation or even ovarian cancer and things like that. It might not necessarily be your moon cycle or your period. It might be the fact that you're putting chlorine products on or in your yoni, bleach, all those polys and toxic ingredients. So maybe you should make the switch. These are the things that go into your body, into your womb, into your sacred place. 
and they're toxic. A change is definitely needed for the overall health of women. Now I'm going to get into yoni steaming. Now, yoni steaming is a very controversial topic, but I will say that if I was putting products infused with chlorine, pesticides, dyes, fragrances, all those polys, plastics that are used for furniture, I'm pretty sure and I feel kind of good about steaming my yoni with natural, organic, pesticide-free herbs. So if you want to argue, you can argue with yourself, but I love steaming my yoni. So that's that on that. What is steaming your yoni? Now this is a ancient routine that a lot of women did back in the day. Yoni steaming has so many benefits. This is for people who suffer from yoni dryness, heavy periods, painful periods, heavy moon cycles, um, heavy bleeding, women who are trying to be fertile, uh, women going through menopause, or women who are going for, um, through premenopausal symptoms at a very early age. Now, some people might see all of the benefits that I listed and say that it's more geared for uh, sexual pleasure, but I think um, as somebody who has done it, I would advise that my cousins or my, my daughter do something like this when she's of age and when she starts um, her moon cycle, just because it's very relaxing it's very calming it it kind of makes you feel closer to your body and it makes you feel like you're detoxing it's definitely a practice that has been sacred to me and it's and it makes me feel good it makes me feel clean it makes me feel connected with my body and especially after years of using harmful products i feel like it cleanses my body from those things how do you steam your yoni now there's different options what you first want to do is start off by steaming spring water Another important thing is you want to make sure that you're using great water because it has chlorine and, and um, as well as fluoride in it and those are things that you do not want in or steaming into your yoni. Then I have my yoni herbs. Yoni herbs can um, cater to specific needs. There's blends for women with heavy cycles. There's blends for women who are trying to get their period because they were on birth control or they don't have their period anymore. Um, and things like that. So there's blends for everyone. So after it's come to a boil, you then add your herbs in, and then I like to cover mine and let it sit for like 10 minutes. After that, I go ahead and pour this into my yoni specific bowl. There's different ways that you can do this, but I personally like to squat over my bowl. And one important thing is you wanna be wearing some type of dress or gown or even a robe or a towel or a blanket to basically trap all of the air in. Trapping all of this air in allows you to have a nice steaming session. You do wanna make sure that you're not too close to the water or the water isn't um, too high in temperature so that you don't burn yourself. I've never burned myself. I've never had any problems. I've only had solutions. I like to sit here. I like to say affirmations. I like to wear something nice. Um, one thing that I have been implementing into my schedule is when I do stuff like this, I wanna feel pretty, I wanna feel empowered, I wanna feel like a woman. So wear a nice dress or have a yoni robe or a yoni blanket that's beautiful, that makes you feel good, makes you feel clean. Put on a diffuser, listen to an audio book, listen to some good empowering uh, music while you're doing this. I personally like to return my herbs back into the earth and then you're good to go. Your yoni will be so fresh, so clean, so pure, like you will have a whole new yummy. And I say that in a way that is gonna make you feel good, it's gonna make you feel clean. Now there also are, my mom watches my YouTube videos and my aunts and my, like I'm not talking about me specifically, but there's, um, there's, um, <laughs> Um, there is sexual benefits to this. There are yoni tightening benefits to this, yoni lubrication benefits to this, yoni pH benefits to this, benefits of bringing on your period, uh, lighter periods, more calm periods, calm day, spa day. So, just steam your yoni. Just give it one try. Give it one try. Another thing that I want to say is if you've been, if you have, um, issues with your menstrual cycle or you are going through infertility issues or you haven't had your period or your hormones are imbalance or you know you just don't you feel like you have there's no hope you have to also consider that you've been using those products for X amount of years 
X amount of times every week or every month times X amount of years. So give yourself some time. Sometimes it does not happen overnight. It's a collective, it's collective choices that you have to make consistently for months or even maybe for a year's time um, to make the change and see the change in your body. All right, y'all, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave your feedback, comments, suggestions, elaborations, ideas, all of that down below. All right, time out. One thing I always forget to do and I forget to tell you guys, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content. Give it a like if you like these videos. Liking this video definitely helps me out a lot because it lets me know that you guys like these videos and it allows me to continue to produce content like this. By the look of my analytics, a lot of y'all aren't even subscribed. So. If you guys are wanting to switch and you guys don't have the means to, I will be giving away $200 worth of products. Just go ahead and comment on this video, then hit me up on Instagram, and then I'll message um, different people um, to, to accumulate $200 worth of product because I really want y'all to try these products out. But thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time in the next upload. Bisous!